Hey, it's Andreas talking uh, some Lean Six Sigma to you. Uh, I was just at uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and uh, it's June 5th. Apparently, it's free donut day, so I got a free donut with my coffee. Uh, what a delight. And so one of the tools that you can do in, in Lean Six Sigma is called the Kano Analysis. And the Kano Analysis looks at three levels of your service or the value that you provide to your customers. And so the basic level is uh, that just basic stuff. So think, think going to a restaurant and you expect the silverware to be clean. That's the basic level. So just the, 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 the core items that you need to have functioning in order for, for your business to even exist or for, for your entity to even exist. Like what are those basic service levels like clean silverware? And then in the, in the middle you have sort of uh, value, uh, value added or, or um, you, uh, you, you, uh, you build on that by providing uh, performance level indicators like the food is really good at a restaurant, for example, or it comes really fast, or the wait staff is really friendly. Uh, those are some things that you might not expect, but you, you, it keeps you coming back uh, to the business service, whatever it is that you're doing. So, you know, friendly staff, boom, of course, we're going to go there. They're friendly. Or a child, you know, we go to places all the time because they accept kids, and our kids don't scream and stuff, but, you know, it's a loud environment or whatever, so they, they're okay with that. And then the third level up top is the delighter level. And the delight level is the unexpected. It's what you did not expect to have happen. And a free donut uh, today with my coffee, that's it, it's delight. It makes me come back. Uh, and, and I'll say it, I went to Dunkin' Donuts, it's great, right? I'll, I'll come back to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, they don't have the best donuts in town, because uh, I think we all know where that is. Uh, raised and glazed, I'll say it. Uh, but it's a delight. I did not expect it, and so it's something unexpected out of the ordinary that makes me feel good. Now I'm gonna have a great day. So I got a coffee and a free donut, um, why not? So think about what you can do uh, with those three levels. Are you meeting the basic needs of your customers? And we'll talk customers later, but are you meeting the basic needs? And then how are you building on that? How are you developing that strength and sort of keep building value uh, so that they keep coming back to you? Um, and then how do you delight them? What do you do to delight your customers? Now, one caveat, very dangerous territory. If it was free donut day every day, uh, I would become uh, hesitant to sort of uh, be delighted because I would then start to expect it. I would say, oh no, we have Dunkin' Donuts. I get free donuts with my coffee all the time. So then it's no longer in the delighting category. So you gotta be careful. You can't just do a bunch of delighting stuff because once you do, uh, do the delighters uh, a lot, then it becomes back to the basic level and then people start to expect it. So a little bit dangerous there, but that's a kind of analysis in Lean Six Sigma. It's a great tool to sit down with your team and discuss uh, on a Friday morning maybe. All right, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your uh, lean day. Bye.